So this video for Chem 1211 will cover some of the basic equations of light that you need to understand and be able to make use of. So the two main equations that we use for light are C equals lambda nu, where C is the speed of light, and we'll use 2.998 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. And lambda is the wavelength, and so the units on lambda are meters and the units on the frequency this new are 1 over seconds or inverse seconds or Hertz the other equation we'll use for light is E equals H new where new is still frequency H is Planck's constant which is 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th joules times seconds and the E represents energy which will have units of joules so let's take a look at this first equation here the C equals lambda nu and let's think about radio for a second FM radio actually works based on a concept called frequency modulation which is where the abbreviation FM comes from FM radio uses a carrier wave over which other waves are superimposed so you get constructive and destructive interference as we were talking about in another class take your favorite radio station I'll go ahead and use 93.9 Bob FM for this example the dial position is actually the frequency of the carrier signal in megahertz in other words 93.9 megahertz and that mega remember is the same thing as 10 to the sixth and Hertz is really inverse seconds so this is 93.9 times 10 to the sixth inverse seconds since radio waves move at the speed of light what is the wavelength of the carrier wave for your favorite radio station? What is the wavelength of the carrier wave for your favorite radio station? So go ahead and think about your favorite radio station. And go ahead and plug in your favorite radio station's frequency. For frequency, use the constant for the speed of light to solve for the wavelength or go ahead and use my example here the 93.9 go ahead and pause this video while you work through that and then you can check your answer so for my example with the 93.9 Bob FM if 93.9 megahertz is the frequency and that's 93.9 times 10 to the sixth inverse seconds then using the equation C equals lambda nu, the speed of light equals lambda times the frequency. Rearranging to solve for lambda, you get lambda equals the speed of light divided by the frequency. And so you get 3.1927, etc. Looking back at your original frequency, you only had three significant figures here, so you can only keep three significant figures in your answer. You want to make sure that you include units without units or a label when necessary your answer is incomplete looking at the units in our expression here we have meters per second over one per second and so these per seconds that are both on the bottom of the fraction that are above and below the overall fraction those two cancel out and you're left with meters for your units so we have 3.19 meters let's stick with the same equation and flip it around so we can answer a different question let's think about say a green laser pointer so a green laser pointer has a wavelength of 532 nanometers and simply the question would be what is the frequency of this wavelength of light and so again we're using C equals lambda nu 
You should go ahead and pause the video to work through this on your own. So for the green laser, 2.998 times 10 to the 8th meters per second equals 532 nanometers times the frequency. Remember that nano is the same thing as times 10 to the negative 9th. And so you can substitute that in instead of the prefix. When you divide both sides then by 532 times 10 to the negative 9th meters, then your meters cancel out you're left with inverse seconds and so the frequency of this green laser is 5.64 times 10 to the 14th inverse seconds.